hey loves welcome to my channel my name is big girl if you were seeing me for the first time please subscribe and today's video is a tutorial on how to use a pocket darling to purge dye hair and make the crochet braids and also with an invisible closure please keep on watching to get the details every single day i'm gonna So this is how you prep your work for everything. My hair was divided into two because I wanted it to be long. And after dividing it, I had to straighten out the blonde ends because you don't want to have blonde ends. I straightened out the blonde ends. Watch closely so you can see how I do it. I picked them up bit by bit, if that makes sense to you. And also after that, I had to comb it out and make it all straight and smooth before I start crocheting. So this is the design or the style or the technique that I use for my crochet. Normally, I was supposed to make it small from the front to the back section, but I'm a very lazy person. So I decided to make the front to be smaller and the back to be a little bit long, bigger. And for that, I had to, because my hair is long, I had to tie it in and then use a crochet pin to crochet it into my hair. Because you don't want your hair coming out when you're done with all your stuff. And that is that for that. So when you're done with that, you need to start crocheting. For the back, I had to make it a little bit bigger because I didn't want to waste my time. And it saves time a lot. Also, it's the back, so it's not going to show. I tie it two times because I did not want it falling off when I'm, you know, dangling or anything like that. And that was what I did for the back part. As I was stepping up to the front section, I had to reduce the braid or the darling superstar braid i was reducing it slowly the back was a little bit bigger than the middle section then the middle section was a little bit bigger than the front section then the front section was actually the smallest so if you watch to the end you see what i'm talking about So this is basically what I did for the back section of the hair and for the front part I used the I had to do the invisible closure and when I crochet in my braid I use a part of the braid not the two sides and I tied it twice 
this is how you achieve the invisible closure you use a part of the braid not the two sides and that is that for that so i'm just going to do this for one more time if you don't get it you need to go back and watch it so i'm just going to do this one more time you crochet in your your braid your darling super sub braid and you use a part of it and tie twice not once so that you don't want to have your hair falling out when you're braiding when you're tangling or something like that and i tied it twice and that was how i did it for the invisible closure and now for the straightening i use my soulmate hair cream my water hair spray and my water hair spray i, I do normally add my leave conditioner into it i use mega cool leave conditioner and i divided my hair into smaller sections i detangled it out and then i went in with what's it called again my flat iron my hot iron with low heat to straighten it straighten the hair and make it lighter and smoother this is synthetic you don't want to go for a high heat because if you do it might melt or something like that so i went in with low heat and this is basically what i did for this hair i don't want to waste your time if only you've even watched this point just continue straightening it and boom here you go <laughs> that's how my hair looks at the end of every thing it was so light i felt like oh my god i've achieved something Please subscribe to my channel if you've not and bye!